I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you feeling right now, beautiful soul? So a lot of people are asking this question, will we go back to normal after this global pandemic? What is normal? I mean, quite frankly speaking, normal really wasn't working, was it? Otherwise, we probably wouldn't be in this situation. If everything was great and extraordinary and amazing and phenomenal and beautiful and transparent and harmonious, we wouldn't be in this situation. And I won't say we wouldn't be in this mess because it's not really a mess. It's a part of a process of restructuring, reorganizing and transforming. The human race has been brought to a standstill, almost. We've been brought to our knees and I feel that as a species, we thought we were these indestructible people that could do whatever they wanted to the planet, that could do whatever they wanted to each other with little or no consequence. And that isn't true. The earth is our mother for a reason. Mothers rule the households. Mothers carry the wisdom, the knowledge. And during these times of so-called chaos, and confusion whilst we're going through this process. I mean, we're confined to our homes. We're realizing that we're impermanent. We're spiritual. We're light, we're energy. We're something beyond this physical form, having a human experience. We're geometrical code with frequency and we're connected at a deep, deep level. And with this virus spreading around the world, whether it's really spreading like the media portrays it to or not, I really don't know. But people are dying. People are crumbling. We are impermanent beings in these physical forms anyway. We're permanent when it comes to the energy source that resides inside of these avatars, these physical vessels, these points of contact. I feel that we're going to create a new normal, a new way of being. I mean, people are realizing now that whilst you're confined to your home, You've got the internet and you can actually start to use the internet to make money, to connect with people, to run your business, to run your life. You don't need to go and work for a large corporation. I feel that people are going to become a lot more independent after this. They're going to start to take matters into their own hands and realize they don't need to work a nine to five for these big corporations. Hopefully a lot of these big corporations will come tumbling down and we'll go back to basics. It's only that ego identity that wants to go back to what normal was because it's what the ego knows. But that's dangerous. Right now as a species, we're being forced into the unknown. We're being forced to tackle, overcome, we're being forced to go inwards, to be still. We're being forced to connect in different ways. And some people are really, really hitting rock bottom. Some people are thriving. Every cloud has a silver lining or a golden lining or a diamond lining. 
There is magic in every single situation. But we're seeing this as disastrous. And the end of the world or the end of what we know the world to be like. And yes, I feel that the world is going to be different afterwards. The way that it's going to operate, the way that we behave and operate as humans, as individuals, as communities. We're starting to wake up and realise what's important. And through all of this stuff that's going on around us, there's one thing that stands out a mile. And it's something that people have been sharing for centuries. And that is love, is the driving force. Love is the one immeasurable, or maybe measurable, driving force that is flowing through every single human being right now. It's energy, and that is connecting us. Whether we're stuck in our homes, whether we're stuck in whatever countries we're stuck in, we're connected by this underlying frequency. And that, my friend, is not going to change. That is what is going to help us recreate this world much better, much stronger, much more connected. We're going to start connecting in ways that we, we've forgotten how to connect in. When I was a kid, I used to go out into the field and play football with my friends or climb trees. We used to walk through streams for miles. I'd go out in the morning, I'd come back in the evening. My mum and dad never asked where I was. It was safe. And maybe it is still safe today. But through the media, we've been made to believe that it's not safe. When you walk around, well, up until a few days ago, I was walking around and connecting with people in the streets. There was hardly any cars around. People were happier. The vibration has elevated and lifted. People are talking to each other in the streets instead of rushing to go to work or rushing to their emails or rushing to this or rushing to that. People have more time. People have more space. Well, they don't actually have more time. It's just that they're the things they were doing in the 24 hours a day have changed. So they have more space, they do have more time. But there's still 24 hours on a clock. Perspectives are changing. Loved ones are becoming more important again instead of rushing to work to be successful, to earn the money. I think a lot of freedom is going to come out of this. We're going to regain our sovereignty as a human species. Maybe the banking system's going to change. How products and services are delivered. Transport companies. We realise that we're quite dependent on other countries for certain things. I feel that through this process, everybody's going to become more self-sufficient. We're not going to depend on these mainstream supermarkets. Hopefully the old fruit and veg shops are going to come back. And we can start going down to our local shops and buying our local produce again. Supporting local businesses. Instead of these big conglomerates. That feed us GMO bullshit. You have a choice of how to handle this situation. You are an energy source that is mesmerizingly powerful. You have knowledge and wisdom locked inside your DNA, inside of your cells, waiting to burst through the seams, come out into this world and ignite a spark of divinity from the inside out. So you can show the world who you are and what you are. And that is a child from the stars here on this planet to experience this process. And it's a magical thing. Let's create a new normal, a normal with many variables, a normal that is exciting, a normal that isn't normal, a normal that changes day by day because we're happy to keep 
expanding and stepping into the unknown because we understand that that's where the magic happens. In the meantime, stay safe. Keep washing your hands. <laughs> Stop hugging everybody for the moment. You know that my message is hug everyone and don't be the first to let go. But right now, maybe you shouldn't hug so many people. Just give yourself a big hug in the mirror every morning. Stare into your own eyes and say, I love you, beautiful soul. And mean it. Because self-love is mission critical. And right now, during this crazy period, we've got a time to go within. And to love ourselves so deeply. You are an amazing human being. Know this. Feel this. Don't believe anything that anyone ever tells you. Especially me. Go into your heart and make sure the truth resonates with your soul. And then you can decide whether you know it or you don't know it. If you don't, cast it away as a sin. But stop believing, because it's dangerous. Belief systems are based on thoughts. And every thought, when you trace it back to its origin, flows out from time, distance or measurement. None of them exist. They're illusions. Therefore, all belief systems are illusory. Know yourself in here. Knowing Trump's believing every time. Wherever you are, love fiercely. Love ferociously. Hug yourself tightly and don't be the first to let go. And I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. Remember to check out our website, starmagichealing.com. Through this process, we've got loads of free global meditations going on. Connect with us online. The next one is this Saturday, 28th of April. Check it out, be with us. Next week, Monday to Friday, 4 p.m. every day, London time. We've got an online immune and frequency support system going on place. A live webinar. Go to our website, join Infinity, you get access for free. You're amazing. Remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and share. If you're watching it on Facebook, like it and share it. If you're watching it on Instagram, share it with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Together we really can make this world a much more harmonious place. Teamwork is the key, beautiful soul. I'll see you again real soon. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out.